Hey guys, Herman from Alpha One Tactical here. I wanted to do a review video or more of first impressions video of this new guy right here. This is the S15 from Shield Arms. This is a replacement mag or aftermarket magazine uh, for the Glock 43X or 48. Um, this is a 15 round magazine. It's not extended, it fits flush, but it's got 50% more capacity than the standard Glock mag. So um, forever, when we're talking, you know, we've been talking about rifles, you always, most people always just used aftermarket magazines. I mean, few manufacturers even made their own. You just always got the Magpul magazine or, or whatever other brands. There's a ton of them out there. But it was completely um, the opposite when it came to pistols. Everybody just used the proprietary magazines made by the manufacturer of the pistol. But as of the last couple of years, we've been seeing a lot of... Um, Aftermarket manufacturers start making their own replacement mags. Shield Arms is one of them. Most of you have probably seen the Magpul Glock uh, magazines out there. I'm gonna do a separate review on those. Um, so it looks like that's where the market is going. Um, there's mixed reviews about um, how well all of those work. So that's why I wanted to test this one out. Um, I was out in the range and, um, and went through a few drills and I just wanted to walk you through them and give you my initial impressions. So let's jump right to it. All right, so here's how the magazines come packaged. Um, I purchased these directly through Sh the Shield Arms website. Uh, they retail for $39.99. That's how much I paid for each of them. I bought two. They're usually out of stock. So good luck getting some. Um, they do come with this little card where they remind you and they recommend that you use the Shield Arms mag catch. Now, um, it is because this the housing is complete metal, unlike the stock ones, this is 100% metal here, the entire housing, all, all but the follower and the base plate are metal. And here is the magazine catch that I also purchased at the same time, I believe it retails for $19.99. Feels like um, it's very sturdy, very well machined. I have not swapped it out because I wanna see how long the stock one lasts while I use these magazines. And here we have a closer look. I did fill it up with my dummy rounds just to show that it does indeed fit 15 rounds in there. I used the mag loader on the left that you can see here on your screen. It's the stock loader that came with the Glock 43X. So the exact same uh, dimensions and everything. Now, after a uh, private class, I stayed around at the range and um, put the magazines through the test. I basically just um, did a normal practice session for me. I started by putting through about 200 rounds of cheap steel cased ammo. I like to see how things fare by using cheap stuff. Just a box right here of Winchester USA Forge 9mm steel cased. And here is the only issue that I had while doing a Type 1. So you can see, see here, I still, I got slide lock and that's because the rounds did bind inside of the magazine and they did not go up into the chamber. Um, and that was again, the only issue that I had all day with the steel case stuff. And so I went ahead and I set up the type one, one more time just to see if I could replicate the issue. And as you can see here, um, there was no problem um, getting through it. It, you know, ran perfectly fine. Did my tap rack, bang, it worked just fine. So no issues there. Then I went on to use my regular um, ammo, my regular training ammo, which is just good quality uh, brass uh, cased uh, factory stuff, a mix of blazer. I also used Fioki. Um, I think also went through a couple boxes of Salier and Below. All of them basically ball ammo, 115 grain ball ammo, and it just ran like a charm. I had zero issues with the, um, the brass case stuff. All right, friends, I hope you found that helpful. Um, pretty cool mags. I'm gonna keep testing them if anything changes and they, or they start failing on me. Um, I'll let you know, but for now, I mean, they are pretty pricey at 40 bucks a pop, $39.99. I don't know if you might be able to find them out there for a little less or not, but I paid the uh, the $39.99 um, and then an addition uh, 
purchasing the little uh, the metal magazine couch. Um, but so far so good, pretty cool, 50% more capacity, the same capacity as my Glock 19, which basically brings the 48, the 43 X into a different category altogether. So I'm loving it. Um, and if you have any questions or want to know more, have any, um, requests for any reviews, um, hit us up, visit us at alpha one tactical.com or send us a note at info at alpha one tactical.com. See you next time.